Go is probably one of the most polarizing characters of the entire Pokemon anime, but whether you love him or hate him, it's undeniable that his goal is probably one of the biggest of any of Ash's friends ever. Catching every single Pokemon on the road to catch Mew is no easy feat, and it's expected at this point for Go to keep catching more and more Pokemon to get closer to this dream. I see discussions of Pokemon that Go might or should catch all the time in the community, but I never really see discussions of Pokemon that Go should never catch. Despite his goal of catching them all, these are the top 5 Pokemon in my opinion that Go should never catch. But before we dive into the list, you already know what to do, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy videos like this, and comment below the Pokemon that you think Go should never catch. And just a quick side note, this is not a hate video towards Go, I think he's a great character, these are just my opinions on Pokemon that Go shouldn't catch in Pokemon Journeys. And with that out of the way, let's dive straight into the top 5. Number 5, Dunsparce. This probably is not the way you're expecting this list to start. It's canon in the anime that Ash has an interest in catching a Dunsparce. On two separate occasions, both in the Best Wishes series and the X and Y series, Ash has attempted but failed to catch one. It's become a little bit of a running joke in the community that someday Ash will pull it off and catch a Dunsparce, and I would be disappointed to see Go catching one before Ash does. If you've seen any of my team prediction videos for Pokemon Journeys, I still think that Ash is going to catch a Dunsparce after the World Championship series, as his last catch of the season. I don't know why, I just think Ash catching one, the Pokemon he's always wanted, to end his biggest challenge ever, would be a great way to conclude the season. And honestly, I still kind of think Dunsparce should have evolved into Drampa in Gen 7, and Ash should have caught one in the Sun and Moon series, but anyway. Number 4, Mewtwo. Mewtwo was created to be the most powerful Pokemon of all time, and everything with Sin of Mewtwo lines up with that. Although this reason alone may be enough to justify Go not catching Mewtwo, I actually don't want him to catch Mewtwo for a different reason. Mewtwo's entire plot in the anime is that it was created and used by humans for purposes that it didn't agree with. Mewtwo eventually found its place in the world as a protector of wild Pokemon, and then through its experiences with Ash Ketchum, it began to mellow a little bit more and respect humans too. However, the idea of Go catching Mewtwo, and Mewtwo essentially belonging to another human, absolutely goes against everything that Mewtwo's character stands for and believes in. The short period that Mewtwo was previously owned and used by humans, like Dr. Fuji and Giovanni, left it with so much rage and so many questions about its existence. Since then, Mewtwo has managed to find peace and find its place in the world, Number 3, Arceus. I mean, does this one need an explanation? Arceus was born before the universe even existed, and it created the entire universe, including the Pokemon world. Arceus is literally the god of Pokemon. It's a huge deal in every media it's ever been in, and as far as I know, it has never been caught by anyone in the anime or the manga. Go is great at catching Pokemon, he's got a real knack for it, and I want him to be as successful as possible, but Go catching Arceus? That is not something that I would ever want to see happening. I'm sorry Go, maybe you can meet Arceus and befriend it if you're lucky, but just don't be going at it with any Pokeballs. Number 2, Greninja. I think we can all agree that Ash's Greninja is possibly the most popularly demanded return of any Pokemon in the entire series. Ash Greninja was a huge deal that resonated with fans in every single way, and really helped elevate Greninja into being the most popular Pokemon of all time. I don't think Go catching a Greninja would be a bad idea in terms of the narrative or the story, but in this case, I think it would be a terrible idea in terms of the community. Can you imagine for a second if after so many years of fans begging for Ash Greninja to return in the anime, a Greninja shows up in Pokemon Journeys just for Go to catch it? The outrage would be insane, and so many people would be disappointed. The only way this could possibly work is for Go to catch a Greninja, and then because of that, Ash is reminded of his own Greninja, and then reunites with him. But I still don't think splitting the spotlight between two Greninjas is a good idea, so truthfully, I don't think Go should ever catch a Greninja. I'm too scared to see the backlash in the community if it ever happens. Number 1, Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh is perhaps one of the most significant Pokemon in Ash's entire journey. Ash first spotted Ho-Oh in the very first episode of the anime, and it inspired him to explore the world and get started on his road towards being a Pokemon master. He then saw Ho-Oh again in the final episode of the original series after parting ways with Brock and Misty, signifying the end of the first chapter of his story and the start of a new chapter. The next time Ash saw Ho-Oh was when he was training to battle Brandon, the Pyramid King of the Kanto Battle Frontier, in the Advanced Generation series. And seeing Ho-Oh at this time inspired Ash to work his hardest to defeat his strongest opponent yet, Brandon. Ash has referred to Ho-Oh in countless episodes, and it clearly has major significance to him. The idea of Go catching Ho-Oh when it has been so incredibly significant and major in Ash's journey for the past 25 years would be really questionable to me personally. It would be like getting to the end of Pokemon Journeys and Ash catches Mew instead of Go. I don't want to see it happen. Ho-Oh chose Ash specifically as one of the people for its visits, so if anyone should ever catch it, it should be Ash himself. 
But I mean, anyway, ho had a major part in Episode 9 of Pokemon Journeys, so hopefully we're safe from Go catching it anytime soon. So those were my picks for the top 5 Pokemon that Go should never catch in Pokemon Journeys. Honestly, there were so many options I could have used, endless mythical legendary Pokemon, and there's definitely enough to make another video about this if you all want to see it. Let me know your top 5 Pokemon that you think Go should never catch in the comments below. As always, be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed, and most importantly, smash the subscribe button too. And on that note, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.